Hey guys, uh, Sam here back with you for a look at um, Stella Lumen. Now this has um, been a, a favorite coin for uh, myself as well as a number of members and uh, today's a good day to take a look at it because it's now starting to establish what appears to be a new uptrend. Um, and so I thought there might be some things to learn here just going back um, I just I'm going back into October here when we had this, you know, this volatility here, and we just so first thing you look at this, you say, well, okay, is is it trading technically? Well, this, you know, spike, pump, dump, craziness, it, you know, there's there's really no clear Elliott count here, but you can you, you do see a, th a few things here that uh, have meaning. So. We know that in Elliott theory that we, we move in impulsive waves, emotive waves, in, in trend in fives, and we correct in threes. So this is a fairly clear three wave here. And we can just go back and look at it and see, okay, well, first question is, is it trading technically? Okay, so just, just simple stuff here. So just pulling from high to low. Let me get this to highlight. From high to low. Well, there's my first low. Well, we okay. So here's the algo. Here's the algo action. So uh, to 50, 50, and then here's their target, negative 23. So they make money. So we go down here again, and we look at this. And we go, oh, okay. Well, now we've gone high to low, and now we're back to the 50. But I've also got this little three-wave structure here that's kind of interesting. So I would, of course, look consider this. And I go, oh, well, here we're the 50 here. Here's their 23. So they, they've taken profit twice now. So you've got this. Now here's the 50 here to the negative 23. That looks good. But then also knowing a little Elliott wave, I can look at this relationship here, potentially an ABC. So I'd pull up to my A wave down to my B wave. And look at this. We get a nice little window here between the 100% alternate price projection and the 50% uh, of the high to low. Oh, got an alarm going off. Okay, so looking at that, so we'd, we'd get an ABC here that's that's easy on the eye, easy to spot that. So there there's a nice, you know, the first signs here that we're getting some technical pattern in place. So we've got some market geometry, we've got structure, we've got pattern, and we know the algos are in. So, so here's a, a perfect window for the sell. Now here's their target off of this swing high to swing low, and we don't get it. Now, of course, additionally, when I've got three pivots like that, let me take this off since you've seen that, I'm going to work with a pitchfork. I'm going to look at this because I know algos use them. So I'm going to go here. Now I've got the, um, I think I've got shift on here. Let me, let me double check it. So yeah, I've got the shift on this. So Take note here. So from swing high, let me get it right on there. From swing high to swing low, we go here and look what we do down here. So this is the first clue. So remember, we algos did not get this, get their their first target. Uh, where is it? So we're here. This is they got the they got it once. Here's the sell here on the second one. They don't make it here, but this is the first tell that potentially we have something underway here as we start to see some strength since we've had a wick of the median line. And we've had this big, huge correction. We've had this three wave implying that um, that this is counter trend and then we're going to go back down and we get you know this is a you know we could subdivide that down the 15 minute but you've got trending market here right so we've got a, a, a long series here of of higher pardon me of lower highs and lower lows all the way going down right and then we wick the median line and then we start to turn the corner so let's let's go back i'll take all of this off since you've seen all that and then here here's our wick of the median line and then we start to make some progress going back the other direction so right you know i'm just trying to give you an idea so if you were coming here here we start to get now we're getting higher lows so it looks like we double bottom here. So moving it off to the side. So here now we start to get technical going back the other direction. So let's open it up and take a look at this. So this is the one hour on Bittrex. So we, we get this one. It's a deep two, but it's technical. And then we, we get this, this subdivision here to give us a three, four, five. So if we look here, let me open it up so you can see it a little better. So here's our one, here's our A, B, C into the two. Now we get an impulsive move. And you can see here, here's my one. So if I wick this for you so you can see it, 
So we don't, we don't overlap the one, so I've got an impulsive move. So I've got a one, two, three, four, five to complete the third of the, the larger degree here in green. So if I just do a little you know, checking on that, to, well, there's my one wave projected from my two wave. Well, here we, we go. So here's my first target here. That's my one, two. Here's my first target. Here's the one, six, one, eight, one, seven, five window. We're two and through that. We stall a little bit there. We go through, but then we're up to the two, seven, two. We're just shy. We're just shy of the two, six, one, eight. Okay, so that's telling me, you know, potentially I've got a good three here. So, well, what, what else can I do here? Well, of course, I'm going to put a pitchfork on it coming back the other way. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to start looking to see if there's anything that I can work with. Now I'm going to want to go back to original from shift. So I go to original. Look there. Okay, so let's make sure I've got them right on the money. So let's get that dialed in. This is what happens when you change time frames. And we'll get that. Looks good. That, good. Okay, so what do we get here? So here's our corner pocket. Here's our one of our favorite trades right here. The corner pocket. Boom, to the tick. Okay, so there's your first trade that's technical, and it was just, just a lay down, right? So we get we got everything we look for. So boom, corner pocket. Here, we, we know that if, if these are good pivots, we've got an 80% probability of getting back to the median line. Okay, so good. Now, we're, we, we've additionally now got Elliott wave structure here. So that would imply, let me take this off, that we've got technical trading, likely algos are in, and now we can start to see. So here we come just a tick or two shy of it, but let's, let, let's measure that here because I've got some additional measures here. So I've got my one wave projected to my four. Well, we're two and through the four, six, one, eight. So that scale is no, no good. So I've got, to, I've got to look at additional potential relationships. So I'm going to look at my third projected from my fourth. One, two, seven, two. So, you know, this, 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 the, the, the clear tell here is that we come just a tick or two from, from the median line. So the expectation here is that we start to move away from it now back towards, back towards the outer edges here. Here's the first. We, we hold it for a while. We can, now we're back through it. So let me take this off. So we can see from this now that we've got a one, two, three. Here comes our four. Well, this is the important level. If we're going to stay impulsive, we got to wick that one. Well, we hold it. So let's measure it. So from my two low to my three high, what do we do here? Right to the 50. And I get a little A, B, C to show me that I've got Elliott structure in play. So we'll measure that. So we're going to go from my A wave low to my B wave high. Here we get a nice little pocket in here. We know that the most common relationship for that C wave is 100% of the length of the A. We get a little pocket in here. Here's the 50 from the swing from the two to the three, expecting a four, high probability zone for a fourth. We get a little window. We get a few ticks into it. We pop up. So algo. Now algo target does not get hit here. They're not there yet. But we can look at this and say, okay, well, I've, I've likely got, let's, let's look what else we can do here. So we've got, we know that's up there. So if I've got my one wave, and I'm going to project from what I now see as my uh, fourth, well, here I'm at the 272. That's the square root of 1618. So we, these, we're falling a little short here, you know, of what you might expect traditionally. So even though that's technical, the 1272 is not to be discounted. That's, that's a common top, particularly for a fifth wave relative to the one wave. And we, we look at that and say, okay, well, <clears throat> I, can, I can certainly qualify this as a, new, as a one wave. I've got a completed impulsive structure here to give me a one wave. All right, well, what, what are we looking for next? Well, of course, from that point, we're looking for our second wave. All right, so if I'm complete on the one, well, let's go down. Here's my absolute low here to what I now can qualify as my one wave. And here we go. Here's our two. We get this nice little A, B, C. We hold the 618. We're, we're just kind of stair-stepping here, two through, back to it, back to it, testing the 50, and then we start to react. Okay, so now I can look at this and go, okay, I've got a good two. I know I've got a good two, and likely <clears throat> I would want to check for a, a fib relationship between my A wave to my B wave. Oh, look at that. The 618 to the tick. All right, so I, you know, I might throw a pitchfork on this as well just to see if we had any. 
Look at that. It just, uh, you guys, <clears throat> I just, I don't know how many. It's just, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. You know, you just have to know how to find these. This is the puzzle that you're looking to solve every time you're analyzing the market. Where are the puzzle pieces? Where does it fit? Can I fit it within the Elliott Wave structure? What are the algos doing? Where are the pitchforks? I mean that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it just it, it just doesn't get any better than that. That that's as good as you get in the market, right? So from here, we so you you had the other corner pocket here, right? So you had from it, that being a pivot, you had an eighty percent probability of getting to the median line, and we get there to the tick, right? It's just it's just incredibly technical. So all looking good for a two wave here. So we can pull some of this off, right? So now we we know we've got a good two wave here. So now what are we looking for? Well, if my one two's in, I'm looking for my third. Well, what's, what, let's take a look at what's happening now. Look where we are. Okay, so. All right. So we, we're, so here's the, from the 50, here's the first algo target. Well, you can see what happened. They took some profit there. Well, now we're two and through the big ones. Let's, let's go back. So, okay, well, if I'm in a third wave, if I'm in a third wave, well, I can start projecting what, is the area that we statistically know the third waves most typically travel to in an impulsive move like this. Well, we're going to take our alternate price projection. We're going to go from our low to our one wave high. We're going to go to our, no, we know we've got a good two. And what's the most common zone? The 1618 to the 175. And we go, go to it over by a tick, assuming I've got these right. I think it was to the tick, actually. I've got these just right. Yeah, I mean, damn near to just. To, I mean, guys, it's just it's just perfect technical trading. So of course we're going to put a pitchfork on it. We're going to go from my low. Here's my one. Here's my two. You know, I mean, it just it, it, like this, things don't happen randomly in the market, right? I mean, this is. This is as perfect as you can get. So it's it's been perfect virtually at every pivot. We we've had some some fib relationship that we could work with some pattern relationship and now we've got we, we've had corner well here's <laughs> here's another corner pocket right so th this is what my bread and butter trade so if we've got good pivots here and considering the elliott structure we know we've got a good potential corner pocket here 80 percent probability of making them making the median line well here's the first time we hit it we a little stutter there and now we go up to the 200 percent in the 618 and we tick them together you know and look at now look at the reaction so what would that imply well that would imply that now we've got a four wave on you know happening here right so this i promise you that's not random that's not just a random oh well you know for some reason it stopped up here you know, that it's only algos can do that. We know that algos work off the FIB relationships and the market geometry. Here's just perfection. It's just technical perfection. You just, you can't get, so what are we looking for now? So if that's our third, well, now our expectation is the four. Well, we know we've got a good probability of returning to the median line. Here's our important one wave here. So we're going to watch for that. We don't want the four to, to take that out because now we've got a completed one, two. We want this to stay impulsive. All right. Well, since we know we've got that marked and we've got everything good there, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for our two wave. We, not, we know we've got a good three wave high here. So we're looking for a fourth high probability zone is somewhere between the 38 and the 50. We'll look at the median line. And what are we looking for? So we want no reason to expect this not to continue this good subdivision. We've had multiple three-wave corrections. So we're looking for a three-wave A, uh, you know, w w as to where the A wave finishes. We, we, can't, we can't say yet. Get this hot. So, you know, th this, is th this is what we're looking for, A, B, C. Let me put the wave on it so you, you make the point. All right, so we, we've got to wait to get a good pivot here. It would not surprise me at all that this move back to the 382, potentially, that, that's a potential pivot for our A wave. But we don't just want to buy it there. We, we don't buy just because we've hit the 382. Because given how technically this is trading in the good Elliott structure, our anticipation is that we're going to get an ABC. So maybe that puts us here. Maybe it's here. This is a, we've seen this all over crypto all over we're seeing these shallow so we, we might we might do this we're seeing these abc's these shallow c waves because the market is so strong so this would not surprise me at all but i'm certainly going to pay attention to any reaction that i get at the median line right and then where's so you know if then i'm looking for upside here for my fifth 
So, you know, again, I, I can't project yet because I don't have my fourth in, but I'm certainly paying attention for that. Let me take the wave off so we can just declutter the chart a little bit. So I'm looking for my A wave, might be here at the 38, I'm looking for a return to the B. We might go lower. You know, we, we just, we don't know, but we don't, look, look here, this is interesting. We certainly don't want to overlap the one wave. Look where the one wave lines up right just above the 65. So a four wave going to the 618 is is a deep fourth. It's more statistically more probable to be up here, even the 23. But if we're now to and through the 23, now we're looking for somewhere in here between the 38 and the 50. That's your highest statistical probability for a fourth wave. So we, 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 we want to pay attention to the fact that the 618 is right here just above the one wave. But we're looking, we're looking for subdivision to give us the, the, the tell here for that C wave. Right? So until we get the A and the B, we start projecting for the C because we, you know, we could certainly end up with that. Somewhere around here could be, but I want to pay attention to what kind of reaction I get at the, at the median. We don't necessarily need to pivot on the median. We could, you know, you can see here we went to and through. We, we, we hovered and then the extreme move up to the high. So I'm, I'm watching for that. So there's, if you're not in this now, here's the next opportunity, right? So that's why, you know, you don't need to, you know, stress about missing a move, right? So all you're doing now is qualifying. Okay, well, where am I in this move? Well, I know I've got a, I've got beautifully technical trading here. So this, th I know I've got a good three here. So I'm looking for my next opportunity to be a buyer, given the structure and how technically it's trading, right? To get that, that's 15 minutes. God, I'm going long today. Let's look at it on the dollar. So here it is. Um, here it is on the dollar, and I'm kind of just going. Yeah, you know, I'll just. I won't go through every pivot of it. We get this kind of weird one wave here. So let's let's go look at this. So I get this ugly diagonal one here. So what what makes me think that that's the, these relationships are good? That I've got a account that works here. Well, I want to check it. Is it trading technically? So I'm going to go from my swing low to my one wave high. Okay, well, we right to the 50, so potentially a good two, and I get a little A. You can see the three-wave structure here. So I get a little A, B, C, right to the 50, right? Algos are buying. Where, where are they likely? Well, there's the first target. It's negative 23. We go a couple of ticks. They front-run the sell, take it down. Okay, so there's their first profit. Here's the, the next extreme. We're two and through the, the, one, the negative 100. So that makes me think, okay, well, you know, let's, let's look for FIB targets relative to the Elliott count. Well, if I've got my one wave here, here's my two. Where, where's the most likely zone for my third? All right, it's just, I, you know, just time after time after time, guys. It's just the same thing over and over again. There's your 1618 to 175 window. Okay, well, that tells me that likely I've got a good third in here. Well, let's let's check here. Anything here? You know, we're running a little hot. I'd probably have to put the 300% on that. Let's, I would do that. I would look at that and go, okay, well, let's go over here. Well, that's that's I've got original, so if I put the three on it, you know that that could play. So you know, he, but here here's the fib pocket that I'm looking for. That's that's relative to me. So I'm going to take that off. So if I've got a one, two, three, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my four. I feel fa fairly confident that I've got a good three because it hit the most probable zone for a three. So now I'm going to pull from my two to my three. Okay, guys, I mean, it's like it's got to be 200 times I've shown this to you. Where do we go? Right into the 61865 pocket. In fact, we, go, we, we wick it, we get into it twice. Again, 618, right? So, and we stay above, we stay above the wave one high. All right, do you see that? It's the same thing over and over and over. And I get a little A, B. I got a, I probably, may, probably got a triangle here. I've got a little A. Well, it's A, B, C, D, E. Maybe could be A, B, shallow C. Likely you've got a triangle. That's where you would expect to find a triangle is in the fourth. So something, something kind of funky like this. And then, of course, we had the, we have the triangle here, right? So you can see, and then, and then we break. Okay. So we get this very, very hot fifth, right? So I've got a, Scrunch here. So note here. So where do we go? From that, we go just a few ticks. This is an, a really an extreme for a fifth. We go just a, a few ticks from the negative to 618. Again, 
it, this doesn't happen randomly, right? So there's an algo looking for that as an extreme. We don't just go to that a, a two ticks shy of that and then look at the reaction. That does not happen randomly. This isn't crypto Billy and crypto biz selling that there. That's only a machine can do that. So, that, so, so we can look at that and go, okay, well, we've got, you know, we get an extended fifth. It's not unheard of. It's very technical. I mean, that, that, that's remarkable, right? So we've got a one, two, three, four, big five. Okay. So what have I got? I've got a completed, I've got a completed impulsive structure. Okay. So there's my one. I've got some sort of two here. I got to put these up here. We don't know where any of that is yet, but we got to go up to the larger degree, of course. So we'll go up. To, okay, so we've got a big one. What am I looking for after that one is completed, given how technical that top, that top is? Okay, well, I'm looking for my ABC. Well, look here now. So do we get a technical, tech, well, some sort of ABC into the A wave? We know that the, the three-wave structure is counter trend. We're looking for the two. Right, we're looking for the two. Let me change that color. So put that in white. Got to move all of this off to the right because we don't know where we're going. Okay. So do you see this, guys? It, it, it just it repeats over and over again. So we go down to the A wave. Well, here to the 50. Right, very common for a B wave between the 50 and the 618. And look it, it, within. This within the B wave, what are we looking for in the B wave? We're looking for three waves, right? Because it's counter to the trend, right? The trend is now down, right? We've gone to the 50. Here's the negative 23 target. We don't make it. Let's measure for relationships to tell me that I potentially got a good top in my fifth, or pardon me, in my B wave. Well, we get right, we, we're a little shy of the 100, but this is the stronger tell and that good structure. Now, given that good structure, I can just eyeball that and say, you might have a potential here, here. Okay, so what does that tell you? So we can do one of two things. The failure to make the median line, right? So that's a tell that the market is weakening, or we could look at this also. I would, I would check it just to see. So failure to make the median line is a tell that we're, the market is weakening. If we don't get there, we're looking for a reaction equal to or greater than this move here, this failure move. But let, let's look at the shift and see if we hit anything there. So we're two and through, modified. You know, that that potentially, you know, we for, so we had a corner pocket here. We got to the median line up to the 50. We failed to get to the 100, which is the more common target for an ABC for the A wave relative to the to the C wave. But we complete the B wave here. Then again, let me pull some of this off just so we can see it. OK, so there's our AB. Now we, we, we don't make the, the algo target. We don't make it. But look, so we're coming here. So we kind of are double bottoming here. So you're getting you're getting this this double bottom action. We get a wick through it. But we've got again, right? So this this shallow C wave, shallow C wave. So of course, with those big pivots, I'm going to put a pitchfork on it. Okay. Well, so with that, that's telling me again failure to make the median line. That that's one of uh, Andrew's trading principles. The failure to make the median line. When we know we have an 80% probability of getting to the median line, failure to make it is a tell that the market is building strength to go the opposite direction. Let's just check this. I've got, I think, modified shift on here. I do. Let's go to shift. Interesting. Okay, so this this failure here and this double bottom action here, I, I'm not saying that that I bought it there or that 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 is uh, an an obvious buy. What I'm saying is you're looking for clues. You're looking for clues that the market is stalling. So with both pitchforks failing, you're getting tells here. So, and we, we kind of double bottom here. We know that the market is prone to these shallow C waves. So that failure is a tell that we're looking for a reaction the other way. So let's pull this off. Now we know we've got a one wave in. So certainly we're going to measure from the absolute low to the absolute high. And we're two and through. I mean, this, this, was, this was not looking good. So we're two and through the 618, but we know a two wave, a two wave can go down to the, to the 786. That's not uncommon. In fact, it's quite common. So, you know, this was, you know, I didn't buy it there. 
You know, I've, I've, I've been watching. So but, but th- once we start to move here, now I can start to measure and say, well, I, perhaps I've got a good pivot that I can work from here. If I do have a good pivot here as a potential two, well, certainly that plays. We don't violate any Elliott trading rules here. I can pull this off. Then I can start to look at this and say, okay, well, what now? What now? If, <laughs> I mean, I've got to pull, I mean, Jesus, it's, it's so strong. I've got to pull all of this off. Right, so potentially, right? What do we get over here? Well, if if I've got a hard pivot here, and I and I'm expecting potentially, okay, could could that work? Well, what am I looking for? I've got a one, I've got a two potentially, given now that I'm seeing this sort of price action. Well, then I'd be looking for a one wave, right? So I get a one, two, three, four, five into a one, and then we can measure. So I, I suppose I can put these on for you. So I get. It really looks to me like I got a one, two, three, four, five. Let me take that to a smaller degree. All right, guys, it's just this this is the process. This is the work you've got to do to get a handle on this. Well, if I've got a one, two, three, four, five, I've got a diagonal, which plays, right? So since I get overlap here in the of the four to the one, likely I've got a diagonal. So here would be my two. Some sort of, you know, I don't even know where we are in this yet because we, we don't have a top. All right, look, we're, st- we're <laughs> still going here. So we can look at that and go, okay, well, with that, let's go to a larger degree and put that in a different color and let's go up to a larger degree. We'll go to minor, okay. So there's my one, two. Well, was that technical? What did we get here? So let's look at the, the likely relationship for a two wave. Well, we're two, we, a couple of ticks through the 786, but that's not unheard of. And look, I get a nice A, B. Let me open it up. You see that? So I'm, look, I'm getting a nice A, B, C into this double bottom here. So I get this, I get the three way, I get what I'm expecting, what, what the roadmap would imply. I get a nice little A, B, C here. ABC. I'm, I'm wicking through the 786, but you know I'm I'm, resp- I'm, I'm popping, I'm popping off of it. So if the, if I've got a one two. Right, what, you know, I'm assuming you guys know what, what's next. So, if algos took it, right, or they came back again here, well, here's the negative 23, you know, reaction. Here's the negative 618 reaction. Now, I mean, we're we're, you know, we're we're approaching the negative 2618, which we saw in the last swing high. So, taking that off, what are we looking for? If that's a one two, we you you know what's coming here. Let me take that degree down. Let's go to minuet. If I've got a one, two, what, what are we looking for? If that's a one, I'm projecting from the two. Well, here's the first spot I'm looking for is the one, six, one, eight, one, one, seven, five. And I, I wick and I hover and I go all the way to the 200%. So we can't even, you know, we'd have to subdivide this here. So it looks to me like I've got a one, two. So this is still, this is still playing. You know we're we're at the three hundred percent, so clearly we're in we're in a third wave, all right. So it looks to me like I've got a one, two, three, four, five. So some sort of reaction up here. Uh, it's I mean it's so it's so heavy that I've got to subdivide to get a better uh, look at it here. So I would think we're likely one, two, three, four, five may well be the case take it to a smaller degree again this is this is just the work you gotta you know if you want to do this this is the work you got to put in so so it looks like given that reaction there so something likely has topped here i i don't know whether it's that it doesn't look to me like it's that it looks like that's still got room to go and we're just we're just subdividing here so we're looking to get to the third the fifth of the third of the degree here in blue you see that? So it, so what's important here? So this, given that that's an impulsive move, I certainly don't want to take out my one wave here. So I can look at that and go, okay, well, if, if that's my one, two, three, four, five into this third, I'm expecting subdivision. But I, I'm, I'm also certainly expecting the four to come into play here somewhere, somewhere between the 38 and the 50. Right? Do you see this? I mean, after a while, you know, all my videos are exactly the same, which is the point that they're all exactly the same because the market does the same thing over and over and over again. 
So you got to learn how to do this. You just you, you got to learn if you want to be successful. Otherwise, you're not going to know what the hell is going on. Why is it turning here? Why is it pivot there? What wave structure in? Where's the where are the algos trading? Where's the market geometry? Jeez, I mean, of course, I'm going to put a pitchfork on this. I mean, this this you know it may be too too steep. I've got to go. I may have to put the let's go back to original. Well, that's kind of interesting. So we, we get a little throw over here on the third. But, you know, what, what I certainly want to pay attention. So, by the way, corner pocket, corner pocket, median line, median line to the tick. Back, we don't make it to the median line. That's the 300%. That it, parallel 100, 200, 300. So reasonable probability that I've got a third there. But I'm, this is not done. Most likely, this is not done. So I'm looking for my fourth, and of course, right, as I've shown you I, how many hundreds of times, we're looking for something like that to bring us back to the median line, right? So that's that's what we're looking for now. So here's here's our target. Here's our median line. It's a question of when do we get there? You know, we here, here, here. You know, when do we get there? That's what we're looking for now. So you'd expect an A wave, you know, maybe come back down here to this, this the, the, to the upper parallel channel, B wave, C wave coming right into that pocket. If, if we approach the median line, I'm going to be a buyer because this looks to me like we've just started a, a, a major new uptrend. If I've got two to three, where's the algo target? If there's my 50, uh, you know, I got, I got a big, I got lots of upside here. If, if we, it, whether it's median line or the 50, that's a nice looking trade, right? And that potentially could top the fifth of, of the blue degree which would potentially be a top of the larger degree white. And then we're looking for the four to come back to the median line. Do you see that, guys? It's just over and over and over again, the same thing. Just, just for fun, if we were to top there, what, what are we doing? Well, now we're looking for a completed count. We're looking for the, for the if that tops there, we're looking for the fourth of the larger degree. Well, here's the 38, 50. Right. So, you know, you, and again, we'd be looking for this same kind of thing. We'd be looking for that subdivision. We don't know. You know, I'm, I'm just free balling it here. We don't know how that gets there, but we want to look for that subdivision, considering how technically it's trading right now. No reason to anticipate that fails until it fails. You trade it, you ride it until it fails with the. So, again, is given how technically technically it's trading, you've got the roadmap ahead of time. And, and until it shows you that it's doing something else, you can anticipate exactly what it's likely to do. And you don't have to guess. You can use the statistical data. Where is the wave four most likely to go? What are the probabilities of us going from three pivots to the median line? That's 80%. Where else in the market do you get 80% odds? Nowhere. Nowhere. Pay attention to this stuff, guys. All right, that's it for now.